started working on the Minel Groove Bell about three years ago, and at that time, it seemed like there were really only two options in cowbells. You had the rock cowbell that made it sound like you were playing a concert in 1984, and then you had the more traditional cowbells that instantly transported you to another country. Both were amazing at doing what they were supposed to do, but neither gave me the sound that I was looking for. I really wanted a cowbell that sat in the mix and blended with my drum set instead of one that dominated it. So we started prototyping different cowbells and we changed the size, we changed the width, and we changed how big the mouth was. We even went as far as to actually change the alloy that the cowbell was made out of. And after three years of prototyping and testing, we came up with the Minel Groove Bell. So once we got the cowbell to sound exactly how I wanted it, then we started thinking, how versatile can we make this cowbell? See, when I used to buy a cowbell back in the past, first thing I would do is grab a roll of gaff tape and just start gaffing the whole thing up to mute down the overtones. The problem with that is once you do that, you can't undo that. So the Minel Groove Bell actually comes with two bell mutes. There's a smaller mute, and that actually just takes out a little bit of the overtones. And then the larger mute takes out almost all the overtones, but it also dramatically brings the pitch of the cowbell down. This simple solution is what makes the Minel Groove Bell the most versatile cowbell on the market. So if you want an extremely versatile cowbell that will actually blend with the sound of your drum set, check out the Minel Groove Bell. <laughs>